Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan. Welcome to another episode of Guitar Talk Rock. Roll intro. Hey guys, welcome back to Guitar Talk. Today we are comparing the similarities and differences between the Fender Vintera Hardtail Mexican 70s Strat and my original 70s Strat. <laughs> So straight off the bat with these, I've got to say, if you want to do some guitar-based exercise and lose some weight like I probably need to, then do a video where you've got to hold two hardtail 70s style strats because um, these things are not light. So diving straight in and looking at the specs of these, um, I mean, body-wise they are both strat shaped, um, both got three single coil pickups, both have got volume two tones, they both got five way switches, both have got a hardtail bridge. So, you know, that's pretty similar. On the back, we've got the three bolt neck style on both of these. So, all of that stuff's really similar. One big major difference between the two is that this is an older body and this is an ash body. In terms of the necks on these, I mean, obviously, again, there's similarities and differences. The big difference between the two is that the original has a rosewood fretboard and the Vintera has the new, more modernly used Poferro fretboard. I mean, obviously, companies use this because it gets around all kinds of export and import laws these days. Very similar tone woods, very similar in looks. Um, just obviously the Pofero is normally a little bit lighter, which this one is. In terms of similarities, they've both got maple necks with the skunk stripe down the back. They've both got the F-style Fender tuners. They've both got the oversized Fender headstocks with the little bullet truss rod end coming out. Both 21 frets and they've both got a 7.25 radius fretboard. <laughs> So in terms of how these things feel, the Vintera has what Fender call the early C-shape neck profile. Um, that kind of to me feels like a slightly slimmer U-shape where you've got a sort of flat back to it. The I'm, I'm not sure exactly what kind of C-shape you would call the original 70s, but it definitely feels a lot rounder at the back. Um, to my hand, the original feels a lot more comfortable. I don't know if that's just because it's played in more, but to me, this definitely feels, it just feels better to my hand.
it is worth pointing out that there are a couple of bits that have been changed on my Strat. So the bridge has been changed, so it's got the solid saddles on them. I don't know what the original sounded like in comparison to these or why they were changed, but just so you know, that's there. And at some point, the pots have been changed on this as well. So they're still 250K. They've still got the same value capacitor on them, but they're just some Japanese pots where the originals just wore out over time. So again, in terms of how these things feel, they both have gloss necks. However, because this is you know a 40-year-old fender, most of the gloss has worn off of it. So it's a lot closer to satin and, and matte finish now. That suits me better. You know, I, I get on with that finish better. Um, but the gloss on the back of the Vintera, it's been done really well. Fender continue to impress me with how good the they can get these Mexican made instruments now, just how close they are to the American counterparts. So in terms of sound, you know, this is a late 79 Strat. The pickups in this are actually stamped 1980. I'm aware that the serial numbers on these, the S9s, they can run anywhere from 1978 to 1981. Um, the research I've done tells me it's a 79 neck, 79 body, which was just paired with the 1980s pickups. Um, the flat pole piece, whereas this has the Custom Shop 69 pickups in. Um, the difference between the two, these in the Vintera definitely sound brighter, more balanced across the spectrum with less harshness to them. The original 70s, or I guess you can say 80s pickups in this, they're quite aggressive sounding. I'm not sure what the what the output is on them. I know they're still low output, but there's more low end to them, so they're a bit woofier sounding. Um, they've, they've definitely got that more vintage characteristic where I find a lot of companies, when they make 60s style pickups or 70s style pickups, they just think twang and spank and it just misses that low end. These have definitely got that low end, but there's also just, as I said, that aggressive characteristic to them that just brings out a few little harsh frequencies I find when when you're playing with it. In terms of reliability, I mean, this thing, I've had it for a few years now and it's been gigged loads and it's just never let me down. The tuners on this are really good. Once it's in tune, it just stays in tune. And obviously they are the same style tuners that are on here. And again, this, when it's tuned up, it just seems to stay in tune. They're, they're just really good quality tuners on here. Um, that being said, I do find that the tuners on the new Vintera feel a little bit smoother when you're using them. But again, the tuners on here are 40 years old, so you would expect them to be a little bit worn and maybe feel a little bit clunky. But in terms of how close they've, they've got them, they are really, really close. So again, if you're looking for something that's like an authentic 70s Strat, the Vintera definitely ticks those boxes.
going back to the feel again, I'm you know I'm not sure what it is. They they both got nines on. Um, obviously, this has got Dodaro's on. This has got Fender strings on, which I'm pretty sure the Fender strings are made by Dodario. But they they both got the same radius fretboard. They both got the same scale length. But when you're playing these, um, the original definitely just feels a lot springier. Um, the the strings just feel like they've got more bounce in them. The the action on these, they're, they're not very far off each other the way they're set up. The Vintero was set up very, very well out of the box. And then obviously with this, I set it up whenever it needs setting up, but there's definitely a bouncier feel to the original. So they both got their positives. I mean, 70 strats are never renowned for being good quality strats, but you know, it's it's impossible to say that every 70 strat is a bad 70 strats. I've played some real dogs, I've played some nasty ones, but I've played a few good ones and you know, I stand by it. This strat is the nicest strat out of all the strats I've played. This is still the nicest one to me. It's just it it fits, it's reliable, and it just feels awesome. Um so as I said, you know, they both got their positives. This just feels awesome to play. It feels like a good worn in old strat and you, you can't beat that feeling. Whereas this, the Vintera, it just feels, it sounds more balanced in terms of like, if I were going in the studio and I just wanted a good professional balanced strat sound with the stability of having, you know, no trem system on them. So it's going to stay in tune a bit better than the Vintera to me is it's going to give a more consistent, nicer tone than what the original is. But, you know, tone is a completely subjective thing. Some people could be listening to the little sound clips um, be between the talking bits and could be saying the original sounds loads better. It's all subjective, guys. Um, but just to me, in my ears playing in this room, this to me has got the nicer, more balanced tone. So I said this in another review video where I did a review of the Maple Neck version of this. Um, it completely amazes me just how good the Mexican Fenders have become over the years. Fender have definitely put a lot more money and skill into making these. Um, I mean, I, I honestly think once you've played this for a few years, if you didn't look at the, the MX serial number on the back of the headstock, you could easily be forgiven for thinking that this was the real deal. Um, you know, when you look at these things side by side, I mean, obviously the paint job on this one is absolutely screwed with the nitro finish. I love it personally, but once this has been played for a few years and it's been played in and you, you know, possibly worn through the neck finish a little bit, then this could easily pass off as a real thing. So that is a little comparison video for you between an original 70s Strat and the Vintera Mexican. Um, you know, at, at the time of recording this video, these don't seem to be a regular product on the Fender website. There's a few shops in different countries that have got exclusives on the model. You know, it might just be that Fender have made a limited number of them because as I said earlier, 
70 strats, they've not got the reputation of being the most desirable thing. Um, I mean, I, I paid under a £1,000 for this one a few years ago, and they've definitely shot up in value. You see some of these going for in between two and three thousand pounds now. And, you know, I, I still say if you find a good 70 Strat, they are absolutely awesome. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you tried one of these Vinteras? Do you have an original 70 Strat? Have you compared the two? How close do you think they've got it? Let me know in the comments below. And as I said at the beginning, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help us grow as a channel and for those of you that have subscribed thank you guys so much for your support and other than that you can check us out at guitargeargiveaway.co.uk where you can win cool prizes like this strat not this one because it's mine um you know all the guitars on the wall behind me and you know other than that i'll see you in the next video bye